Hi, my name is Daryl Garrett, and this is Pastor D's Thoughts. I'm out at the mall getting things ready for church and ran into somebody I've not seen in quite some time. And talking with this person, they've been going through quite a few struggles, and they said something to me to the effect that they just feel like they've been trapped, or literally, they use the words that they feel like they've been in a prison. And after talking with this person, I came back in, was finishing getting things ready for church, and I got to thinking about how many times we do feel like we're trapped or feel like maybe we're in prison. And I got to thinking about, well, what about being in prison? What is that? And I got to thinking about a scripture that we all know, I hope we know. The Bible says that Paul and Silas at the midnight hour were praying, singing hymns, and praising God. But I love what the rest of that verse says. It says, and all of the other prisoners were listening. I got to thinking about that. You know, many times we may be going through some really tough times. Sometimes that we literally feel like we're in prison, trapped, can't get out of what we're in. And have you ever stopped to think that just maybe you're going through that because somebody else is watching you, listening to how you react and how you respond. Paul and Silas, I, I don't know that maybe they didn't even give a concern to everybody else they just knew God is worthy even in the prison what I'm suggesting to you is even though you feel trapped even though you feel like you're in prison and it feels like right now it's just you know an endless cycle over and over and you're not making any progress but I'm telling you that not only is God worthy somebody's watching you somebody's paying attention and what you do right now is the biggest testimony of your life. It's not how well you shout when everything is going good. It's how much praise is in your life, how much comes out of your heart and through your actions when you are going through the trials because that's what the world's watching. Paul and Silas gave praises and everybody, all the other prisoners were listening and that made all the difference in the world. Think about these things today. You have a wonderful day. Come back and see me again at Pastor D's Thoughts.